Oh, we're not hitting the Jesus. What up, man? How you doing? Go ahead. You look like you gonna talk some shit. Because <laughs> my thing is, the boxing media, I feel like they paint a lot of false narratives. And um, I feel like you probably were the only people that really keep it real. You know what I'm saying? And like they try to say you was a pro boots channel. See the comments? Yeah. All because you keep it real about the buzz situation. Now look at Shakur Stevenson. <clears throat> Jamel Charlo did the same thing Shakur Stevenson did, right? Jamel Charlo, he got to be a, a bitch. He was scared. He was fighting scary, this and that. And when Shakur do it, it's boxing. It's a, a boxing master class. And y'all don't keep the same energy with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And uh, y'all say, say Tank's scared of him and he'll beat Tank easy. And from what I seen last night, I don't believe that shit. I don't believe it. Tank the Monitor. I'm so much more confident now. I told you last time you interviewed me, I said it's going to answer a lot of questions about Shakur Stevens. If he get touched, how he going to react to it. But what I seen last night, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't too impressed. Uh, I don't want to bash him or nothing like that because I do like him. But I thought he was going to do more. And he ain't, he ain't even do nothing. I, neither one of them did anything. For him. But I was impressed with De Los Santos though. Why? Because he was smart. He wasn't just reckless. He wasn't just coming forward, throwing bombs, and, and, and falling into Shakur's game. He really was boxing. And he upset Shakur a little bit because he wasn't just looking for him. You know what I'm saying? When Shakur was moving around and shit, he had stayed in the middle of the ring and just wait right there. You know what I'm saying? Give him a little bit of rhythm. He just don't move his head. If he had head movement and punched off his slips, he would have had a better opportunity to win. A lot of people are unhappy with the Shakur performance. You're one of them. Could, it, could this just be a situation where it was a bad style mesh? Like, where yeah. it just didn't make for an exciting fight, them two together? Yeah. Um, I think power and the speed and the reflexes gave Shakur a lot of trouble with the fact that he also can box, too. You know what I'm saying? Again, this ain't no Oscar Valdez. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no... no like, the thing with boxing is a lot of people who's getting messed up right. And they and they fighting people that they, they, they obviously they're supposed to beat. You know what I'm saying? Now you wonder somebody that's a real fighter now. So now you're really about to see what's up. You know what I mean? Because that, that dude, he got power. That's all they talked about. But he, he got skills. He's a skillful fighter. And you also got to think, he from Dominican Republic. He didn't got no, like, crazy pedigree. Not, not to my knowledge. they like... He ain't come in the game like Shakur Stevenson did where he got a name already and you got to move him a certain way to get him to that level. You feel me? He probably had to come in there and fight dog fights. His first five fights, they probably was dog fights. So he probably really got experience. 16 and one with 14 knockouts. And he beat Ryo. And he beat uh, Joseph Adorno his last hour. He a good fighter. He ain't sweet. So he fights see somebody with skills. Power, speed, and you really got to see what he really about. Why do you think Tate knocked Shakur out based off of that performance? <clears throat> Reflexes. I mean, that right there was like if he was supposed to get ready for a tank fight, that would that would have been a good warm up fight. For sure, you know what I'm saying? But um, Tank got more skills than that dude, and I think he's more seasoned and he's more smarter. And I think that uh, a key thing is the head movement. Shakur never fought nobody with head movement. And I think, like, a tank bring that to the game. It's like a lost art in the, in the, in the sport of boxing because then nobody really knew they hit You know what I'm saying? I just think, uh, from what I seen last night, a lot of people say that uh, since Tank will throw a lot of punches, that uh, his inactivity is uh, making him lose because he's going to give up rounds. But you've seen when somebody got power, of course, Stevenson don't even let his hands go. So, so that right there answered a lot of questions for me, too, because when either one of them is going to be getting busy, right? Well, who got that one punch knockout? Who said that? Who set it up? He moves straight back on the line. He don't move his head. He just moves straight back and he jumps back. Tank is fast. He's more explosive than and he quicker than you anyway. So yeah, I think Tank going to set up a nice little feint right down the middle, take him out. Set it up with some body shots overhead at the top to take him out. He got a lot of ways to take him out.